Using a computer should be graceful and effective. Users like you should have a sense of mastery and satisfaction that comes from working on systems that are comprehensible, predictable, and controllable. Unfortunately, most people who use computers experience confusion, frustration, and failure. Developing better information and communications technologies is a high priority, but it won't be easy. One way to think about a more satisfying future is to draw inspiration from the past. I believe that Leonardo da Vinci's synthesis of art and science and his union of aesthetics and engineering is just what we need to help design better systems. The old computing is about what computers can do. The new computing is about what people can do. The main frustration for most people is their wasted time when using computers. How often does your computer crash, lose some of your work, or force you to reboot? How often is your email filled with dangerous viruses, annoying messages, and attachments that don't open? Do you get dialog boxes that confuse you, menus that baffle you, instructions that mystify you? One survey indicates that 5.1 hours per week are lost in trying to use computers, which is more time than is wasted on our highways. But our data at the University of Maryland suggest that the problem is worse than that. Our observations indicate that many users spend at least 50 or 60 percent of their time in coping with and recovering from computer problems. The drag on productivity and the disruption for most users is a serious problem especially in medical, military, and life-critical applications such as air traffic control. We now know that among the top ten frustrating problems are system and application crashes, mystifying dialog boxes, slow and drop network connections, viruses, and failed installations of new software. Improving current systems is only the first step. The second step is ensuring universal usability. Future interfaces need to be designed for small handheld displays, laptops, desktops, and wall-sized displays. They need to be designed to work on high-speed computers and networks as well as slower machines and dial-up modems. New applications need to be easily translatable into multiple languages, accessible to disabled users, and appealing even to low-motivated users and poor readers. Universal usability will help promote universal access and expand opportunities in developed and developing nations. But good infrastructure is only the starting point for the new computing. The goal of serving user needs has stimulated most of the recent breakthroughs such as graphical user interfaces, email, and the World Wide Web. Also, information visualization, instant messaging, and online communities. Therefore, our first step must be to determine what activities and relationships users participate in. The relationships include your work by yourself, and then your close, trusting relationships with family and friends, your interactions with colleagues and neighbors, and finally, your participation as citizens and in markets. The activities start with information collecting and your communication with others. These provide the basis for innovation, which then leads to dissemination. My short name for these activities is Collect, Relate, Create, Donate. This activities and relationship table can help us envision new applications in personal photography or ubiquitous computing devices. More significantly, the activities and relationships table can guide our innovation in e-business, e-learning, e-healthcare, and e-government. Novel relationships among consumers or between buyers and sellers will enable e-business innovations. Collaborative educational scenarios open up possibilities for education and training experiences that are more engaging and effective. 
Worldwide Med will give physicians access to your medical records everywhere while protecting your privacy. A new generation of highly informed super patients will discuss their conditions in empathic online communities and arrive at physicians' offices ready to discuss alternative treatments. Political discussions in million-person communities will be effective in promoting rational discourse that generates successful consensus seeking. Getting past our old beliefs and wishful thinking won't be easy, but that is what we must do if we are to form an international movement that promotes higher quality user experiences. Many companies want you to believe that things are as good as they can be, but we have to raise our expectations and fight for higher quality. Using a computer should be graceful and effective. Leonardo can be our inspirational muse in pursuing the new computing. We can unify art and science and integrate aesthetics and engineering. I won't promise that every person will be a Leonardo, but we can enable more people to be more creative more of the time.